What's up everyone? Welcome to another Whitewater Kayaking tutorial. This week we're going to be talking about how to improve your kickflip. A couple of clips loaded up so we're just going to dive uh, right in. So there's two ways to do a kickflip. Um, there's the more basic way which is to drive up the wave and then kind of back dick roll over the top. And there's the slightly more advanced way, which is what we're going to be talking about in this video, um, where you're going to drive up the wave and kind of do more of a Pan Am style um, of kickflip over the top of the wave. Uh, I will make another video for how to do that, like more entry level back deck roll style one uh, at some point. But anyway, that's not really what this video is all about. This is all about if you can do a kickflip and you want to improve it. Before you even get started trying to kickflip, you have to make sure you're trying to kickflip on the right kind of waves. You can't kickflip every single wave on the river. You have to pick and choose which ones you kickflip fairly carefully. Um, you're looking for a fairly steep green face, uh, ideally at least three feet. Um, and you want it to be really, really steep and smooth and green and not breaking because that's going to give you the most consistent ramp up and make it easiest to flip over the top uh, and get a really sick big kickflip. And that's what you want, that's, that's why you're watching this video. Uh, how do you do it? Well once you've picked your wave, line yourself up. You want to be right where it's steepest and tallest and greenest. Then start picking up speed. Uh, you want to be like coming in medium to medium hot here. Um, if you're sprinting as fast as you can, you might mistime your stroke and then fall on your face, which is funny for all your friends, but not funny for you. Um, and if you're not coming in fast enough, it'll be difficult to get your boat to air up off the top of the wave, which is what how you go the biggest, really. So once you've got your speed coming into the wave, keep driving, keep driving, keep driving, and almost as you're reaching the top of the wave, you're going to do a forward pulling stroke, put like lifting up with your knees and pulling your boat clear of the water and kind of as vertical as you can make it. As your boat continues to rise and rise and rise, once it gets to the very apex of its rise, you're going to turn your paddle to the, to the back side of the blade, it's pushing on that green face that you just ramped off of. And there you're going to do a pushing downstroke, flipping your hips over your head. So the real thing to concentrate on is pushing down with the back face of your paddle while simultaneously trying to make your butt go over your head. And that's how you get that nice over the top rotation, which is going to be really sick. You've got to make that a one fluid snappy movement. Otherwise what's going to happen is you'll drive up the wave and then you're probably going to just fall head first down the wave train into the next wave. So try and land um, with your body weight centered or slightly forwards. Boom, land upright, celebrate, happy days. But a few really key tips that really helped me uh, get my kickflips a lot better was start that pull uh, up on your knees and that like final pulling stroke a little bit later than you think. You just need to find that window where you're pulling at the very, very top of the wave. And the thing I found the hardest, but is probably been the most useful thing, is there's a fairly significant pause when you're at the apex of your rise there before you start snapping your boat over your head. And uh, the, the more you can really exaggerate that pause and then snap really aggressively, the cooler kickflip you're gonna have. Um, it's gonna be nice and aerial and you'll be nice and head dry and that's that's sick. All right, those are three key points to take away. Off you go, try those. Just a word of caution, you probably are gonna fall on your face a lot the first times you do this. Um, so just try and pick where you're doing it fairly carefully because you don't want to be uh, like getting janked up on rocks and stuff. Uh, but I, I don't know, I have hundreds and hundreds of fails while trying to learn this trick. Um, and I'm still learning and still getting better, but the more you practice, the easier it gets. So go try those tips, driving your boat up, lifting up on your knees, pause, and then pushing with the back face of your paddle and aggressively snapping your butt over the top of your head and then landing center or sitting slightly forwards, paddle away, happy days. Okay, 
Let me know in the comments below if that works out for you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.